What is up everybody? It's King Kunta, your favorite World of Warcraft YouTuber. And before I go ahead and get into the gist of the video and everything, um, I just want to ask that at the end of the video, if you do find that you liked it or enjoyed it, if you could like, comment, and or subscribe to the channel, uh, really helps me out a lot and uh, inspires me to keep making more videos. So, today, we are obviously going to be talking about a gold farm because what other things have been on this channel, really? Nothing is the answer. Today we're going to be farming battle pets because our goal is to build up as much wealth as possible before Battle for Azeroth uh, drops. Because after the expansion comes, everybody knows the woes that are brought upon us from that. Meaning that we need tons of gold and like that's it really, just to get through the expansion and through raiding and stuff. So today, we're going to go ahead and teach you a simple way to go how to make an extra, you know, 50k gold even uh, on your tune before Battle for Azeroth. And uh, today we're going to be farming battle pets. So if you're not even interested in the idea of farming a battle pet, just go ahead and click away from this video now. But I swear to you, they will sell off. The battle pet we are going to be farming today is known as the, give me one second here, search them up. The Azure Whelping. Whelpling. Ugh. Okay, why are we not? We're not gonna find him there. Okay, so let's just go to Battle Pits. Okay, there he is. And as you can see on my server, he actually goes for uh, quite a bit of gold uh, here. He's. The lowest he's going for is 50k, and the highest is 80. So, this is definitely a pretty good investment. And this pet normally sells way better than the uh, the bronze whelpling because the azure whelping whelpling is way more sought after because honestly it's just better of a battle pet and uh, yeah that's it so what I'm gonna do now is oh wow that was quite loud but what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to cut the video and we're gonna go ahead and reopen the video that is not the way I'm supposed to say that but we're gonna be at the farming location and I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know also before I do cut the video make sure you have bear tartar because you are going to need it at this farm so if you don't know what that is just go look it up on the auction house it's right there so it looks like the most useful thing in the planet okay so we're cutting the video and we'll see you there all right everybody we're back after that cut and uh, if you haven't noticed um, by a bunch of dead and NPCs and yeah that's because we're at the farming location so right now we are in winter spring which is in Kalimdor and we're right near this little cave entrance right here and I'll just show you just to make it a little bit more clear for you guys right there so there's no way you don't know how to get there right there okay so once we get to this area we'll see a bunch of yetis and these are actually the mobs that we want to farm now if I looked correctly these mobs have a 0.8% chance to drop the Azure Whelpling. And uh, that is quite good for a mob, especially this densely packed. So we actually have a decent chance at getting them. So first things first, before we even begin to farm them, you have to pop Bear Tartar, which of course I did, and it is up here, as you can see, well fed. So really, this farm doesn't consist of a whole lot other than spamming an instant cast AoE and sprinting around, as I will demonstrate now. It is just doing this the whole time. Now after two minutes you're gonna have to loot and these do take a little bit to respawn but since they're densely packed it shouldn't be a problem whatsoever. Also this is a questing area so just be be nice to the other people that are just trying to get their quest done. Now the ice thistle uh, matriarchs have a greater chance to drop the pet so that is also something you can keep in mind but I also wouldn't linger here too long because the two ice thistle matriarchs that do spawn um, their spawn rates are quite, uh, I want to say like, you can't really rely on them. Uh, it's much better just to go with the bulk of them all and just run around and AOE them down like this. And it's much more efficient. So we see, loot that guy. Now, when you first get here, there are a lot of locations that you can farm this. Um, there's going to be about five or six that spawn in this little area right here and then about another seven that are gonna spawn right here. Also, there are some inside of this cave right here that you can go kill after you've killed every single one of them outside. Now this farm, it doesn't really take people a long time to actually get a whelping to drop from what I've seen. Um, even streamers and stuff farming this, they, they 
most of the time they're getting them uh, every hour around that. Um, remember this farm is RNG based so it could take you a little bit longer, it could take you not as long. Um, that's not, you, you know, that that's all perspective on how long it will take. So see once we get inside here we actually have a lot more higher density of mobs but we also have to run all the way out of the dungeon as well so we can see here and killing all these now the one issue is they are packed closely together but they are not packed so closely that you can just loot them all like you know how when you loot or kill three or four mobs all of their uh, loot will be on one corpse so you can just loot it off in there that doesn't really happen at this farm because they're so um, spread apart and it's quite easy to forget a few that actually could have dropped them off. So just be alert in what you are doing and make sure you loot after every couple you kill. Um, this isn't the kind of farm that I'd really recommend setting a timer and then going to loot them all. I recommend doing it by like as you kill them. Uh, yeah, it's going to take up a little bit more time, but it's quite worth it. Uh, you can also skin some of these for heavy leather if you like to, but I just, I don't even have time for that. So, see us going through the whole cave like that. And this is really all the farm, uh, you know, consists of, is just running through this dungeon and also through the outside portions, just trying to get that drop. Um, remember the drop chance is low, but it is also not impossible, so you guys actually do have a decent chance to get these. When you run inside the cave, there are quite a few more um, Ice Thistle Matriarchs, so you do have a greater chance to get them when you're in the cave. Um, just so you know though, after you kill all these in the cave, they are going to take a little bit to respawn, so it's still you're still going to have to uh, run outside and kill those mobs after you kill all the ones inside, as I will show you once we get out of this cave. So once you clear all the way out to this cave, uh, that's really all you have to do, and then you have to run back, which is kind of a pain in the butt, so I'll show you, but you can kill this guy if you want, he actually has a chance to drop a couple transmog items, not today though, yes, and as you can see, you're going to have to use a different form of some sort, or something along those lines. If you are a droid, um, this is why I always recommend droids to people who are lucky to get into farming because they are, like, not arguably, they are the best uh, class to farm with in World of Warcraft right now. And they have been for a long time. So, we'll go ahead and get out of here. As you can see, it's kind of, pain in the, of a pain in the butt to get out of here after you've killed all them. That's why this is kind of like the reset portion, but once we get out there, there's going to be a bunch more mobs out there. Um, if you have a bunch of people farming this, obviously it's going to be way easier for you to get things done. Uh, you can see right there. Yeah, like, so if you have a group and you can just wait the respawns, that'll make it quite faster, but that's obviously up to you. Um, yeah, if you're melee, it might be a little bit harder because you don't have any uh, abilities that can kind of clear ground super quickly. And uh, that's all I recommend. Also, if you do have a Looterang, that will help you out uh, quite a bit. So, And if you don't have a Looterang already, I kind of recommend you guys pick one up off the auction house because it is probably one of the single most useful items you're ever going to buy in-game, and you're going to use it throughout all expansions. So we see here, if I just keep it going like that, I'll go ahead and kill all these guys. You can pick up the Room Claw too because Cloth is also selling very well right now on a majority of the servers because first aid's being removed obviously if you haven't heard that yet then i'm surprised because i posted many videos on it and uh this is really all you have to do just this just like that now that's really all i have for the gold farm uh if you like the video okay you can like comment and subscribe and below and stuff and also check out the links in the description below because I have a link to all my setup, all, everything I use to record, all that good stuff, if uh, you're interested in any of that. Um, like I said, it's a very good farm. You just have to commit yourself to the RNG aspect of it, basically. Um, you will get it, but when it can be decided, but since the drop chance is um, set the way it is, you actually have a pretty decent chance of getting it. So see there all right so you can leave now um i'm just going to talk about the channel and prospects and stuff that we're going to be doing um 
so if you're watching to this point, comment down below Notification Squad if you're part of the Notification Squad, obviously, because your comment will always be liked. And um, also, I'm looking for a few recommendations for other types of videos to do that you guys would think would be interesting, because I can run every gold farm in World of Warcraft, but I don't really have an opportunity to try to make um, videos on other things. Um, by that, I mean, like, guides on other parts of the game like that or anything. If you guys do have a guide idea that you think uh, would be useful and that you guys would like to see, um, can you just leave it in the comments down below and I'll uh, actually consider making a video on it and I'll actually give you credit uh, for recommending the idea and everything. So um, yeah, uh, that's it. I That's all I really had to say. I love you all and I'll see you in the next video.